Being joined right now with Dane Smith. And Dane, we'll get to the NLL season and the MSL season in a second. I think the first thing people are going to want to know right now is uh, why the crutches? I uh, kind of a little bit beat up uh, during the NLL season. And it's kind of an injury that happened uh, the first playoff game. And it kind of lingered. I obviously had to play in the playoffs. And it was um, one of those things that I took my time and did my, did my MRI and came out negative. So taking a few weeks off, uh, hopefully be back by playoffs. And speaking of that NLL season, phenomenal season, shattering Sean Evans' single point record, setting the goals record for the NLL too, 72 goals. Are that, is that stuff on your mind during the season uh, at all? I mean, be honest, I know a lot of guys say that it's not, but you got to be thinking about that when it's creeping up. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a tough season. Um, everybody was talking about it, and obviously I wanted to get it over with if I, if I was able to beat it. Um, Sean Evans is an unbelievable player, and being able to get a little bit more than he did it was it was honestly unbelievable but um, I had my teammates behind me they helped me out through the, throughout the whole process it was, it was a cool experience uh, going to the uh, finals this year so it was a cool overall uh, successful season I mean we w wish we would have had a better outcome but it was pretty cool uh, breaking a few records as well and did you get how many game balls did they give you this year because you set a lot of those records I, I have quite a bit at home sitting at home but you know what at the end of the day that you want to win a ring and we came up a little short this year, so hopefully next year it's, uh, we can achieve that goal. But um, it, yeah, like I said, it was, it was a nice achievement to break a few records this year, but next year I'm hoping to do the same, but win a ring. Talk about that crowd in Buffalo, because it's similar to Peterborough, but obviously a bigger arena. They love their lacrosse in Buffalo. It's pretty easy to play in front of them, I'm sure. Yes, it was one of the top places I wanted to go to uh, from day one. I grew up watching them, so um, having my cousin play there, Billy D, uh, throughout his career, I, I got, a, got to a few games, and here in Peterborough, it's unbelievable as well. They, they get sellout crowds, so it's pretty cool playing in the summer like here. Your cousin Billy D, did he help your career at all when you were younger growing up, or was he, uh, you know, kind of beating you up because he was on the other side a lot of times? I know you guys didn't cross paths too often, but was he a mentor? Yeah, he's definitely a mentor. He's 10 years older than me. Uh, we play a little bit different style of games. I know he, uh, a lot of fans don't like uh, watching him beat up players, but uh, you know, I score a little bit of goals. So it's, uh, it's a cool uh, experience to play with him. I just got really lucky. Billy D, he's one of our favorites here. I don't care what the crowd does. Uh, you know, they like to boo him in Peterborough, but we like him at Kojiko TV. Love watching him play. He's a grinder. You, scoring touch, big guy, fast on your feet. What's your greatest asset that you bring to the game? I think the speed and uh, the guys around me, I, they try to make me better. I try to make them better. So it's been a it's been a good, uh, good process throughout my career. And uh, getting to play Team Canada with so many great players like Sean Evans, like a few others, it was a good process. So I uh, can't thank them enough. You guys came up just short of the Man Cup last year. What do you guys got to tweak in your game to get there again this year? Working as a team, you know what? Uh, we have so many talented players, but what it comes down to is worth ethic. If we don't come to the, uh, every game to try, it's going to be like an outcome that Peterborough beat us last year in Game 7. we got to give them credit. So we got to come every game and treat it like it's our last. Right, well, we wish you the best of luck and hope to see you back in the lineup real soon. Thank you. Dane Smith of the Six Nations Chiefs.